Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing just a full face of first impressions. I've recently got some makeup. It's partly like high end, partly drugstore. So there's quite a few high end bits and there's quite a few drugstore bits. So yeah, let's get on to today's video. Before we carry on, please do make sure that you like, subscribe and make sure that your notification bell is already turned on so you get notified every time I upload. If my eyes look dead, just dead, um, <laughs> I haven't slept in a while so it's been really, I've had quite a bit of a down few days and you're allowed them sometimes, like it's fine but it has taken its toll on my eyes, I've like swollen up and stuff just kind of had a little bit of just but yeah we've got this whole box of makeup that i'm gonna try out so we've got some fenty beauty some Too faced we've got what have we got we've got revolution we've got l'oreal we've got some doll beauty lashes because i thought why not um we have bh cosmetics we have maybelline barry m lip liner so yeah Let's get onto this and try these products out. So first we're gonna jump onto the Modizon Face Base Primer. I did use this in another video, um, but the file got corrupt, so this is me just reusing it and telling you what I think. So this is kind of like a second impression. But yeah, this is the Face Base Primer. It just looks like this. Cause it's so pale, like the camera doesn't like focusing on it, which is great. But it does come with a pump, which is, I quite like it. I do remember I only need like a little bit in my areas that I need it. I already have got my brows on. I'm not touching my brows. <laughs> my brows are just one thing that just doesn't. I like to put in this in my T-zone because it's more of like a mix between silicone and like a moisturizer primer. It kind of smells like balloons. Like that smell of like balloons, it smells like that. But it kind of fills in my pores, which is kind of good. This is the illuminating one. Apparently this is illuminating. Do you think that's illuminating? I think it just leaves kind of like a slight white cast on my skin. Uh, that's the only illuminating part of it. Yeah, it has these tiny little bits of, if you look on my hand, I don't know if you can see it, but my hand is kind of shimmering. It has these tiny, tiny, tiny like little bits of like shimmer in it, which is pretty cute. I quite like this. It isn't like hydrating on my skin at all. It does feel very mattifying which is okay, it's not like my favorite, but I quite like this. I'm not a massive like primer type of girl, so I quite like this for what it is. Next thing, foundation. I just kind of wanted to try out this foundation. I have quite a few, I have this drawer of like stuff that I just want to try out, so new products that I haven't tested before and I'm kind of just making my way through it. But this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation is one foundation that I've seen everyone kind of use and I've never tested it out, so I thought I'd test it out on my channel for you guys. So yeah, I got this shade 2N Vanilla, which literally just looks like this. So it just looks like this. And I've also finally got my nails back for anyone that wondered why I had chubby finger for so long. It's because I was moving and I had so much to do that I just couldn't have nails on at the time. Because sometimes nails do get in your way. So I finally have my nails back. I do do these myself so don't worry I'm not breaking any coronavirus rules. Do you know half this video is going to be me trying to open packages. Quite a few of these bits got, I got yesterday because I ordered them off Boots. Because they were having quite a good like 20% off sale on like Fenty Beauty, Too Faced and stuff like that. And I was like, I need to try out some high-end products. Like I've got a few NARS bits to try out. I do, I'm going to come in recently with the two NARS foundations. I'm going to try out for you guys. And these are going to be two separate videos. But um, I'm going to try these out soon for you. So yeah, I have the soft matte and I have the radiant longwear one i also have some like not other nars bits and like drugstore bits but I'm not gonna come in this video but i did get quite a good sale on quite a few of these products so yeah let's test them out so let's put this on the back of my hand i quite like this pump okay if you see on this pump it has like this little finger like indent so when you're holding it it doesn't like be so sharp on your finger so when you push it down it doesn't hurt as much that just came out like oil i think it needs to shake okay now it's coming on properly fine <laughs> I think on the top it was just like where it separated a tiny bit but we move on but yeah I got the shade 2N which looks like a pretty good shade so I'm just gonna go in with my baby beauty, beauty blender and just put this on oh I don't like the smell of this oh my god I've just realized I've got two bracelets on so if you hear dangle 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 I should probably put them on two different wrists but I don't like things on this wrist I don't know what it is 
I think I'm gonna go for another layer. I don't know, I'm just more of a full cover type of gal. When it comes to like these products, I like a good like medium to full. Like this is now giving me medium, I just had to add a little bit more. This would be good for like an everyday type of foundation. I don't want like too much coverage, just a little bit of color, because my face is so pale. But yeah, now that kind of slightly matches my chest, not fully. This is 2N, then there was like 1N, which was like, I'm more of like a neutral base. Um, but it seemed a bit too light, so I went for this one. I was originally gonna go for 3N, so lucky I didn't. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good on my skin. My skin looks very glowy, I like that. Let's do my forehead. My forehead's where I've got most of my blemishes at the moment. Not the funnest thing of life. Shh, phone just buzzing. I always have to go around my brows. I don't know people that can do their brows after like foundation and everything. I'm like, okay, on a natural day when I'm just putting brow gel, yeah, I get it fine. But when you're doing like pencil or like soap brows after foundation, I'm a bit like, um, what? So yeah, that's the foundation. I quite like that. The beginning bit was a little bit of stress because it was doing its own little thing. But I quite like that and it's quite a dewy foundation. This kind of reminds me of my Revlon Colorstay and that's my ultimate fave foundation. And I quite like how dewy it looks on my skin. Like, look. I like that. I have, like, combination skin, but I like to have, like, a dewy base and stuff. I'm going to not go to concealer first. I'm going to go in with the Revolution um, foundation stick that people use as a cream contour. So I was like, okay, let me hop on that bandwagon and see what people are such, like, raving about. Because a lot of my favourite makeup artists love this products for it so i was like hmm okay so i got the shade f12 it just looks like this it's a stick it's one of those stick foundations and it does look very pretty and then it just comes out like this and so yeah i think this would be a pretty good cream contour shade as you know i never go straight on just i don't i don't like how it looks because sometimes that just disrupts the foundation or makes it slide so i go in with my cream contour stick and i'll just especially if this is a stick i'll just put it on my brush dab it a few times enough so it's on my stick just add it because this way I feel like I can blend a lot easier than the other way because if I just put a strip there some cream contours just don't move like my Morphe one if I strip it onto my face I find that I look very muddy but when I do like this I quite like how it looks I like this color that kind of works I'm a cream type of gal at the moment and I've been kind of loving it it just looks healthier I don't want to look dry and matte all the time like I hate powder all over my face that looks so good. I was a little bit like careful at the beginning, like let's not add loads, but this is looking good. I have a mirror that's like directly below the camera. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking into that because I don't want to poke myself in the eye. Not gonna lie to you. Okay, let's hurt a bit on my chin. This is really creamy and it's still quite like glowy. Like it hasn't taken that shine. Like look, it hasn't taken that shine away from my foundation at all. And they're working together really well. We're gonna go in with a high-end concealer. I'm not like a massive fan of like high-end concealers. I think sometimes you can find really good ones in the drugstore. But there is one concealer that I've just wanted to try out for so long. And I think it is worth the money because of how much product you do get. And that's the one that I'm gonna be trying out today from Too Faced. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited because apparently it's like a really hydrating concealer and I'm good for the hydrate. Because I'm like oily in my T-zone. Everywhere else I'm like dry as hell. And my skin's just like, thanks. I just went in with the Baby E contour like buffer brush. This is literally like my favorite brush at the moment. Let me do my nose contour. I just go in with another Baby E brush. <laughs> Baby e is a small Instagram brand that um, I partnered with for a giveaway. So if you do want to win the products that I'm using today and a crap time more, it's like lick, um, glosses, lashes, lash glues, brushes and everything like that, then go hop on into my Instagram and enter the giveaway. It's on my main page. You'll see it as you go there. Their products are genuinely amazing and I really love them. And why not support small brands? Because we're not always over here for the big brands. Do you get what I mean? Like sometimes I want to enter small makeup brands. So if you guys like enjoy the idea, please do tell me that you do. I want to support the small brands because they're doing great, especially in this little pandemic. Is it me who's annoyed that America is basically living their lives perfectly? Perfectly fine and over here in England we just don't know what life is anymore we really don't this is just so creamy 
Like it's blending so easily. I'm like into my Huda Tantor at the moment, but do you know what? I really like this. So if I feel like I want a little bit of a darker shade, and we're going with this one. That was really creamy and really nice. I really do like that. Next, concealer. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. That was a mouthful. Okay, so I've still got it in this box because obviously I've just brought it. So yeah, this is the concealer itself. So it just looks like this. You get a lot of product in this. I think you get 15 mils. Yeah, you get 15 mils of product. So this is like a half of a foundation bottle, which is so good. And it still comes with the doe foot. Like, hello. I got it in the shade Snow, but the packaging, can we? Like the embossed like logo and like the raised logos and stuff, just I love this. If I like this one concealer, I might get it in a darker shade and get it for cream contour. Because it does say conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. So that's why it's called a more used sculpting concealer. Because you can do what the hell you want with it. So let's go onto the eyes first. Because I am very, very... Ooh, I like that dofa. The dofa is very, like, slanted but short and stubby. So it means I can get in there and not spread too much to on my cheek. Let's try this out. I'm scared. I feel so, like, dewy right now. I'm not upset about it. But it's just... I do. This is the shade Snow. I got this shade because it seemed like the best. Oh, that is pale. Okay, okay. A lot of my concealers look like this. To be honest, this shade looks a lot like my e.l.f. one. I'm gonna put the tiniest bit here, just a little bit between my forehead. Maybe put a little bit here. I look insane. Let's blend this out. This does feel like water underneath my eyes, which is really strange because I'm not used to that feeling. But let's blend this out. Oh, that spreads, doesn't it? Usually I do my concealer before my cream contour, just because that's what I'm used to doing. But today I thought I'd change it up because whenever I put a powder on top when, before I do my cream contour, they seem to not like mix. But then when I put a powder on top of when I've already done my concealer, it does mix perfectly fine, if you get what I mean. That looks so good. Look up that under eye. That looks so good. I crease underneath my eyelid, so if you're used to that, then <laughs> we crease over here. But this just this feels so good under the eyes. It doesn't feel thick at all, but it's giving me that coverage. Oh, I'm happy about this. I understand the rant and rave about this concealer now. I understand. I get it. Like, I've seen Soph Does Life rant and rave about it. Jordan Lip Scam. Um, Steph Toms. Uh, who else? Make me up. Missa. She likes this. Come on. Let's add the excess onto my little moustache why the heck not but yeah anyway back to where the like bronzing situation so when i usually do my under eyes i have to set them straight away because they will crease and that's where i usually do cream contour afterwards but where i'd set where i like to bring my cream contour sometimes they mix and they like do their little weird thing so i figured recently if i do my cream contour first and then go in with my concealer then my powder it looks a lot better this beauty blend is so soft it's like my favorite one recently Baby, we do be doing that. So yeah, this is beautiful, absolutely stunning. I actually would suggest this. This is twenty pounds on be uh, on boots at the moment. So if you have twenty pounds and you want to get a high end concealer, this is definitely worth it. You get a lot of product in this as well because with the Elf ones, you get six mils of products for six pounds. The hydrating one, this you get fifteen mils of products for. 20 pounds which isn't that bad at all so it's only a little bit more expensive but i do see the difference and that is giving me coverage without heaviness like the elf one i'd have to add a little bit more product to get this coverage and i'm loving this this looks stunning my skin looks so healthy right now so next we have the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch setting powder so i got this yesterday in my order so i did like a big order of boots because i wanted to treat myself to some high-end product why not treat yourself girl like this is the first time i brought makeup in the whole month so i was like why not so it comes and it looks like this there's a lot of product <laughs> this is a lot of product so it looks like this it's so beautiful so I got the shade Butter. Uh, this is just a shade that Soph Does Life and everything like that uses. And she's a bit more my skin colour. She uses this colour and so does a lot of other people. So it made me up miss her and stuff. So I thought this would be the best colour for me. And it is like the fairest. I didn't want to go for a translucent. Because I like this one underneath my eyes. And a little bit more coverage is always where I love it. Underneath my eyes. Like I have freckles. And sometimes with the most full coverage foundation my freckles peep through and like i'm so happy about that like people are like oh you don't have to draw on faux freckles i'm like yeah i know that's fine but sometimes they're in the way let's open this up and pull this off oh, that was a lovely sound what's this little plastic 
stopper. So when obviously when you put it away, you can stop it from spilling everywhere. So it stops the powder from going out of here. So when you turn it upside down, it still won't end up everywhere when you open it. So I'm just gonna into the lid. Seems like a really good shade. Okay, now I've got that in the lid. I'm gonna put the stopper on there. Just push it on there and it should be pretty good. So it looks like a really good shade. I don't know if I can actually show you. So that is the shade of the powder, if you wanna know. So that is butter. But let's beat out these conceal lines underneath my eyes because I've creased already. And then we're gonna go in with my favorite like brush for underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna tap it into the powder, tap the excess off. And I like to just push it underneath my eyes. This brush just does it for me. I think it's from Sleek. I got it yesterday, uh, last Christmas in one of their like brush set sales. I'm happy spending a little bit more for stuff that goes underneath my eyes because that's where I usually feel the driest and the most horrible and that is underneath my eyes which is a little bit of a pain. Look at that under eye. Those two products put together feel what? That feels so smooth. I'm shit crying out. Yeah, it did dull down the brightness. So where this is such a bright concealer, when you dull it down, it does look really good with the butter powder because it is a little bit more of a tinted powder, but then it gives like the cream contour and stuff. It's not as bright, but that brightness where it's like initially bright will end up having this brighter when the, pow the powder goes on top. So if you get what I mean. So if this was darker, this would end up darker when the powder went on. And I like this shade underneath this powder. If I look at you creepily, it's because I do actually have to look up so I don't stab myself in the eye. So this powder comes up with 28 grams of product. So in my favorite powder from the drugstore, it comes with 10 grams, which is the Rimmel Loose Powder. And that comes with 10 grams. And that is eight pounds 49. So you end up with like 25 grams of product for the price that you get 28 grams of this at the moment. This is a little bit cheaper at the moment on boots, which is actually really good. So I kind of just set where I need to. I'm not gonna lie, my skin hasn't looked this good in a while. Maybe it's the high-end products, I'm getting into them. If you guys want me to test out any of like high-end or drugstore products, please do tell me, write them down, down below in the comment section and I will buy them because I want to test out products that I know you guys will like too and wanna see reviews on. If you go I mean that beautiful but my skin looks really good right now it's matte where it needs to be it's glowy where I want it to be it is it's stunning next is bronzer bronzer I'm gonna go in with another Too Faced product this seems like there's a lot of like high-end products here I promise there is some other drugstore bits this is the chocolate soleil milk chocolate I think it is the one that one this is one of the hardest things to open this is the Too Faced Chocolate Matte um, Bronzer. I was gonna get the milk chocolate, but you know what? I'm happy I got this one because this does seem a little bit better for my skin tone. The milk chocolate is a little bit lighter, but this one smells like hot chocolate, like the hot chocolate powder. Oh, I literally had my whole boyfriend's family yesterday smelling this for a good like five minutes. Oh, it smells so good. This looks beautiful, it is stunning. I'm not gonna close it completely because and can't open it but this is what it looks like the packaging is just on another level like this little like clasp and then when you open it it just looks like this this is just it's beautiful and like that embossed chocolate matte so i'm gonna go in with the bh weekend vibes number two brush which is literally just a slanted compact brush you guys may think this is like a foundation brush i used to use it as a foundation brush but it's a little bit loose for my liking for foundation or cream products. It's a little bit loose, so let's go ahead and try it with this bronzer. This comes with a mirror, which I'm so grateful for. I'm gonna tap some on and let's tap it onto my skin. Okay, that that looks a lot darker on my skin than it does. Let's just blend it out, blend it out. You'll be okay. I think I just went a little bit too heavy handed, but now I've kind of blended it out, that looks pretty. It looks a lot harsher on the... I had these like shadow lines in my face. So here you can see it. There, I have these shadow lines whenever I have makeup on, or no makeup, they show up. Sometimes they make my products look a lot darker than they are and they're not, which is a little bit annoying, but we move on. But that looks pretty now, I blended it out. Let me just not tap into it as much on this side and then we'll build up. I literally tapped into it twice, okay? I get it, pigmentation. I love it, it smells like chocolate. Look how good my cheek looks. Okay, I'm kind of falling for high-end products recently. And I, I get it, it's a little bit more expensive. But for powders and stuff, 
I get it because powders last forever um I think that it is worth it paying a little bit extra if you know that they're gonna work like I only have one bronzer from the drugstore that I'm like in love with and you guys know which one that is but then I have the BH palette that I really like but this looks so good okay i'm just having a good makeup day these first impression videos are going really well i'm just waiting for the video that goes really bad it's like okay great so i'm just adding some on my forehead because that's where i like to bronze i really like this i really like this just adding it on my chin where i put it on my chin it just makes my chin look shorter than it is because my chin's like all the way down here but i make it like up there so why not i am bronzed to the heavens so now i'm gonna do my nose and this might be a little bit too dark for my nose but we're gonna try it out so i'm gonna go in with the weekend vibes bh brush number five it's just a flat kind of fluffy brush i kind of tap in the tiniest bit add a tiny little nose contour I really do like this. Okay, I'm liking all the products. That's good. I, I'm happy with that. Next is blush. I actually have a blush palette. So you guys saw me fall in love with the BH bronzer palette, which is the Belgian waffle. It's the bronzer and highlight palette. It's beautiful. This bronzer is like my favorite. It's so beautiful. This one's a little bit warmer than I usually go for, but you know what? I, I quite like it. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you, I like it. But this is the shade that i love and this highlight is just beautiful this is just a beautiful palette so soon after i tested that out i went and got the bellini palette which is bh's blush palette so this is their peach palette it's just a palette full of just peach shade blushes because i love a peach blush but look how beautiful this is but that is the palette is full of just peach tones for like every kind of skin tone it goes from like the palest to look very much darker so this one's a little bit pinkier but then this one's proper dark peach but yeah let's go in with my blush brush so my blush brush is a morphe brush it's just one from the rose gold set looks like this it's a good blush brush but you know i'll go in with this one because it's a little bit lighter and then if it's too light i'll go in with the other one so this is peach of cake so all the names are quite funny so we have georgia peach just peachy peachy keen peach please life's a peach and peach of cake but these palettes retail 15.95 and sometimes you get six blushes really good so let's add a peach i'm happy little bean that looks gorgeous okay let me bring it up a little bit higher here i brought it a little bit too low on the other side but it's fine when you add highlight blushes is just one of the things that just disappears and look how beautiful that looks my skin just looks so i went in with that shade peach of cake and i think it is actually a really good shade but that is the blusher i really do like that i really do and it does calm down the bronzer a little bit adding the blush it just adds a little bit more dimension and stuff next i'm gonna go in with the doll beauty like a diamond highlighter i want to drench myself in this my boyfriend got me this for christmas actually and i haven't tested it out yet it's been sitting in my drawer for me to test out i think just this month's been really hard for me to film product reviews and stuff like i've got loads of palettes to review for you but it's just been really hard i think because a lot of things have happened in this month last year and it's just been a little bit of a also my care video came out a few days ago it's, it's been that type of month so it's been one of those months so it looks like this it is a pink packaging looks like this and then when you open it up it is this gold light very pale gold shimmer and it looks gorgeous so this is the like a diamond one you get 12 grams of product and they're 15 pounds and sometimes they have sales for them to have for seven pound 50 which is really good and this has a film on its mirror and i can tell it does because the mirror looks gritty don't know how to get it off look at that mirror that's how you know there's something on there this is my highlighter brush it's just kind of gone like an orange shade because i'll see it mixes when i bronzer and stuff whenever i put it on my face but let's put this on okay i was in mid-sentence and i literally shocked me so i like to apply my highlight like this so it's a little bit buffed out and it isn't intense okay but i only put a tiny bit on so that is how it swatches absolutely like just looks so good okay let's go in with a smaller brush i'm gonna go in with this jessup 231 luxe petite crease brush i like these brushes because they kind of fit on my nose perfectly so i'm just gonna pop it on my nose so a tiny bit and barely even touch my nose okay this is a very glittery highlight so that is it on my skin yeah, i add a little bit on my chin not a lot just a tap and then a shush, shush. this is beautiful i really do like how this looks and i'm very happy with this okay so next i'm gonna go in with the nyx epic ink liner my boyfriend did use this on me 
but I haven't tried it out myself. He was doing my makeup. You may see this video coming soon or this video might be coming out after that video. But my boyfriend used this, but I haven't. So I'm going to go in and use this. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's the black one and it is waterproof, which is amazing because my eyes like to cry like nobody's business. And then it just looks like this just looks like this which is just like one of those typical pen liners but it is not a felt tip it is like tiny little bristles so yeah it's tiny little bristles if you can see that is so pigmented the bristles make it so flexible okay let me go off camera i'm gonna do this liner and this one and i'll come back with my answers and how i think about this liner okay i am now back with my liner done and then i thought as i was off camera i might as well put my mascara and lashes on so the lashes that i am wearing today are the ariana doll beauty lash this is just the box to them and they just look like this my eyes, eyes are a little bit bloodshot right now is because um i was sticking my lash on and i poked myself in the eye which was great but the liner, I love it. It is such a pigmented, easy to use. Wand is like where it's bristles, it's flexible. So instead of being a stiff like wand, so when you go like this, it makes like jigger lines because of the shape of your eye moves as you do it. It like grips onto your eye line, like eye line so well that you can just go whoop, which is genuinely amazing. The NYX Epic liner is like hyped as hell, but I get the hype. I'll probably go out and buy another one of these just for a top up just in case I do run out of this because I know this is a fave that I'm gonna love. The mascara I went in with wasn't a new one it's just one that I tested out in the last video which is the Maybelline Sensational it's just one of my faves now so I just went in with that. Next is another eyeliner so for your waterline I have been interested in buying like a creamy kind of color just to make my eyes look a little bit more open because they do look so closed all the time. I got one of the new Beauty Bay um eyeliners so this is one of the crayon liners so your makeup essentials but better liner define your looks with not so basic creamy eyeliners for hours of light wear smudge proof wear so i got this in the shade vanilla which is like a creamy color so it does like naturally open up your eyes because it obviously makes that bit a little bit whiter which means your eyes are a little bit more open especially for like when you've got winged eyeliner and a lash on your eyes can look very dark from like the darkness on top which is sometimes not what I want. I'm just gonna try this out today. So it comes in like this pen form with this like silver graphic like wording. Okay, so it comes up. I remember when I first got this, I tried swatching it on my hand and the top bit broke off, which was great. But it is a retractable liner, which is actually really good and one of my faves. So yeah, let's put this on and see what this looks like. Sorry if you can't see this, but I genuinely need to concentrate because my eyes are a pain. Okay, now the other eye, but that was so creamy. And look, even now my eye looks a little bit wider just because of that, just like a lighter shade really does lighten up yeah eyeballs hopefully you can see me doing it now but yeah look at that because i've just freshly done it to my eye my eyes are a bit like what is this that honestly that's actually really good and i think these are two pound 95 at the moment which is actually a really good price and i think you guys should go get some i'm probably gonna get some more shades probably want to get a brown one or something um but that's really creamy and my eye under eyes do look much brighter now and they don't look as scary okay the next part is lips so lips i have three products so the first product we're going to go in with the barium lip liner I got this yesterday, um, still in its packaging. So this is in the shade. That's a really nice shade. Oh, toast. Oh, that is like a brownie nude. This is gonna be perfect for what I've got going on today. This is the shade toast. So let's put this on. This reminds me of the shade Sweet Tea from Morphe, but a little bit lighter, which is kind of good because there's a lot of my lip lines that I want a little bit lighter and I can't with the Sweet Tea which is sometimes annoying. And I think these barium lip liners are like £2.99, which is really cheap. So this is my first ever barium lip liner to try. And that nude is such a pretty subtle kind of nude. That's a beautiful lip liner. Like it's just not too dark. Usually like I'm a sucker for Morphe lip liners. I am. Okay. But these are creamy and these are from the drugstore. Like these are shorter than the Morphe ones. But that is a beautiful shade. Next I've got the Fenty Beauty uh, Stunner Lip Paint. Which is the lip paints that look like this. So I got the shade. 
unbutton because it was, looked like this beautiful nude and oh my god it's going to match this lip liner so well oh my god so it just looks like this which is honestly beautiful like Fenty Beauty packaging she knows how to do it so this is a lip um what's it called a liquid lipstick so obviously it does dry down matte that doe foot I've been intrigued by these doe foot for so long look at the swatch of that next to the lip liner look how perfect that they are together these are just meant to be together so lightweight i'm used to quite like heavy lip liner lips liquid lipsticks but that literally feels like nothing i'm not joking if you have these you know what i'm feel talking about i literally put the tiniest bit on and that was just on the insert bit but those two together look at this nude lip tell me that's not a beautiful nude lip and look no stickiness nothing doesn't feel dry that's now fully dried down okay that's fully dried down in about 20 seconds now that is beautiful that might be one of my favourite products from today's video. Those two together, okay, so if you have these products, go get them if you don't. Go get the maybe, um, the Barry M Toast Lip Liner. And if you can afford this, I got this for £13 something, get the Fenty Beauty Liquid Lip. Because I literally used the tiniest bit, so obviously this is going to last so long. Because I literally used the tiniest bit. And this is the most beautiful nude lip of my life. This might be my go-to nude lip. This is the nude lip that I've been looking for for so long. But to go on top of this nude lip, we have to have a gloss, okay? We have to have a gloss. Because there's nothing like a nude lip without a gloss. So we're going to go in with the new Maybelline Lifter Glosses with Hyaluronic Acid, which look like this. This is just the palest one that I got. I was like, oh my god, that looks so beautiful. But it being pale, it won't show much pigment. 002 Ice. So they must do a clear one. I think they do actually. And then this is the palest like pigment gloss. But yeah, this is the lip gloss. So oh, I love a good when it comes out. Oh. So it has just a normal like doe for applicator. And let's just pop this on and see how glossy my lips about to look. That feels so good on my lips. It smells fresh like vanilla strawberries. But as I like new the like slight pigment won't show up that much on my lips but look that gloss with that lip if you like a gloss a gloss with your nude lips and you're looking for a new one that the nude lifter ones are really good i have another shade to try out for you guys but i'll just try that out for another video but this one looks gorgeous that is everything that i have to try out and my box is now empty of products. I no longer have anything else to try out. I am shook, okay? I'm shook. I used to just love drugstore because I felt like that they do products for such a cheap price so good. And I never really, except for like eyeshadows and stuff like that, I never really went high end, except highlighters and stuff. I never really went high end. But trying out new high end products today, I might have a new addiction to some products. I am so impressed with so many products. I've loved everything that's went on my face, okay? Everything that is on my face right now, I think I love how I look, okay? I love how this whole look has completed all together, like, beautiful. Don't tell me my skin doesn't look good because I know it does, okay? This is just genuinely such a beautiful look. Like, I'm about to go out, I'm about to feel confident. I do have to tell you myself. So yeah, if you guys liked any of these products and you want to test them out, please do comment down below what products you want to test out. Anything, anything that you're going to buy off my recommendation. I would love to know what you guys want to test out. And if you guys want me to test out any other products that you guys love, please do leave that down below as well because I do want to know what you guys love and see if I love them too. Because why the heck not? Test some more products, see what we love and see what we don't. And yeah, that is today's makeup look. Let's give you a final little zoom in so this is my base right now i am feeling so confident this side is just my side of my face so it's just i like this side of my face i don't know my jaw structure just looks so much better this side is just like what but this just it looks so beautiful like you can still see that peachy blush that glow from the highlighter the beauty won't messing around at all okay but these products are beautiful everything sinks into my forehead lines here everything nothing will ever stop that okay if a pr brand comes out with like filler for my head so then when i put my makeup on um it doesn't do that let me know because i, I kind of need it <laughs> i need a banner like a pore filler 
we've got a forehead filler straight up so yeah that is the final look i love how it looks and i hope you guys like this video too if you do like this video please do like comment and subscribe because why not join the family and please do make sure that notification bell is already on so you get notified every time i upload so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video it really has been so much fun testing out some new products having fun with you guys having a little chit chat and yeah thank you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye guys